This is what I want to do for our country. I want to jumpstart America, and it can be done, and it won't even be that hard. We think that the Fed will allow the economy a bit of time to run hot, just to make sure that we're in that growth boom. Kevin Loan, Fathom Consulting. The eyes and the ears of the world will be focused on Donald Trump on Tuesday as he gives his initial address to Congress. So, Kevin, are you expecting this to have a heavy influence on the U.S. dollar this week? Um, well, certainly we think that the uh, ratings will be very good. We had the Oscars last night, and I'd say this will be a close call in terms of how many people tune in. But in terms of policy prescription, we probably expect more um, bombast and bravado um, from President Trump at this initial address. But it's going to take some time before they um, are ready to deliver detailed policy in terms of uh, tax changes, infrastructure spending, and also trade. Um, so certainly we think that markets will be watching it. And um, if he surprises us and does deliver some of that stuff, it could react. Um, but more likely, we think that the, the dollar is probably going to trade uh, fairly flat until we get some more details around uh, specifically what the new administration is going to do. Over the medium term, once this becomes clear, we do expect uh, Treasury yields to rise and the dollar to strengthen as the U.S. economy um, accelerates away. Uh, and we're above consensus for growth this year and next. Uh, but in terms of what's going to happen tomorrow, we don't expect it to have uh, a massive market impact on the US dollar. The most recent FOMC meeting minutes indicated an interest rate hike was fairly soon. Friday afternoon, Fed Chair Janet Yellen is scheduled to speak on the economic outlook at the Executive Club of Chicago. So are you expecting there to be any correlation between Donald Trump's fiscal plans and future FOMC movements? Um, well, we think that uh, Chair Yellen will be very careful to not make explicit the link between the two, um, if there is a link. However, she will accept that um, to the extent that there is fiscal policy and that influences the real economy, then the FOMC will respond to that. Um, but despite the fact that they said that rates could rise fairly soon, we still think that uh, June is a much more likely month for them to, to initiate the next rate hike. Um, and in any case, if stimulus is coming later in the year, then um, uh, they probably won't respond immediately. We do think that the Fed will allow the economy a bit of time to run hot, uh, just to make sure that we're in that growth boom that uh, we probably anticipate. Um, but until that is more clear, we think that uh, Chair Yellen will be careful. Um. ECB policymakers will look towards Wednesday. So what is the outlook for the German inflation after consumer prices in Germany fell 0.6% in January? Well, we expect most of that uh, monthly decline to be reversed, um, and we do expect the headline annual rate to uh, go above 2%. Uh, but as elsewhere in the euro area, the key story to look at is the core inflation. Um, and so even in Germany, if it does go above 2.1%, we expect core inflation to remain uh, fairly weak and definitely below the ECB's target of around, but a bit below 2%. Um, and so we're, while we're fairly optimistic on Germany, and we do think that uh, Germany is going to lead the way in terms of growth performance in the currency block, the main problem there is uh, weak underlying pressure. Um, and that's what the ECB is going to look at. So as long, even though headline rates may rise, a little bit throughout the year. We do think that policymakers will keep their eye on core inflation, and if that stays weak, um, we believe the discussions about tapering are probably premature at this point. Kevin, thank you for providing your insights. That's all from me, but Celeste Skinner is taking a look at the Euro Great British Pound currency pair, so be sure to click back.